this is just a quick rundown of uh, using the Fortune 60 amp hour uh, cells to do a solar and generator setup. So I basically have 12 of the 60 amp hour uh, Fortune LifePo 4 cells from, uh, looks called Electric Car Company or something. Uh, Will Pros actually recommended these in a video a while back. I bought them as soon as I saw that, and they're out of stock now, so maybe you can't use these, but I'm sure there's equivalents out there. Anyways, I think I paid $81 each for them, so it cost me like $1,100, and they charge you a bunch of money to ship them. They charged me like $135, which I was almost canceled my order because of it. But um, I just bit the bullet because I couldn't find them cheaper at, the, at that time anyways. But here's the setup. So this is uh, in series pal parallel. So let me move the multimeter. That piece of crap's going away. I ordered a new Klein one. Thanks for that recommendation, Will. But um, this is, uh, these, are, these are tied in parallel the long ways. And then I've tied across all of the positives at the end to get a parallel configuration. So I have the series. This is one battery bank. That's one battery bank, one battery bank. And as you can see from my setup here, I don't have a BMS on this right now. I bottom balance these myself. And I, I use this little, I just use anything that, that draws a lot of power. Um, I use this little pump that I use for the Zodiac right there to... To draw power from this thing it's a little 12 volt pump to, to top to balance these batteries because i don't have resistors or anything available to me here um in addition to that i use these these there's two of the three and there's the other rich solar panel that i'm using to charge them i'm only i only have one panel out right now because i don't need more than that these batteries are already at 14.5 volts and i'm just messing with the top balance right now but anyways, these go in uh, my RV, which is a fifth wheel, and um, I have a uh, Victron Multi a 3000, so it's a 12 3000, 3000 watt inverter with a uh, charger, and they have a bunch of great circuitry and, and a great app as well. Thanks for that recommendation as well, Will. But uh, that, um, that setup is not in yet, but I, but I have it. Uh, and um, that will charge the batteries at 120 amp hour or 120 amps at uh, 12 volt, which is fast. And I'm not quite sure whether the batteries can handle that level of charge. Or I'm trying to figure that out right now. I actually just asked in the forum whether or not uh, Will or anybody else had a recommendation on that, as I don't want to ruin the batteries. I can actually up that by plugging in to the other leg of my own and output which is uh, own and outputs at uh, 46 amps at 120 volts it has a 30 and a 20 amp leg on the generator and so you could actually theoretically plug a charger into the other leg uh, 120 or attach it uh, at 120 and, and I can charge with my 75 amp charger at additional 75 amps so I could take the 120 and the 75 so 195 amps and charge these batteries in like a cup an hour and a half or something like that I, I haven't done the math but um, it's fast so I, I don't want to waste any more propane than I have to so if I can do that I and I, I probably will sometimes although it does require some additional you know getting down to the basement and and uh, in the RV and hooking up the charger but it's worth it if you just want to get charged up and leave. So I will talk to you later.